Hello everyone, this video will show you how to use the rules control function of my server. It's a pretty powerful function, but it's a little bit hard to use. First of all, we use the command help to show what we can do, auto ban. So basically the rules control link to the ban. So if anyone break the rules, they will get banned automatically. So let's see. And following command need to be used in control path channel. So we just need to find our control path channel and we use all these code. All to ban. And start from the first PVE on. So PVE PVE on will turn your server to PVE mode. So when you use it, if anyone killed another one, he will get banned automatically. So it's pretty easy. And off means cancel switch off the function. This one is easy. And jump to the next part is uh, ZPVE. ZPVE means green zone. A PVE zone or PVE area. So we just uh, paste this uh, command and show you how to use it. And the first one, just like the reading system, the reading alarm system, we need to give a uh, area a name. Maybe you have uh, this is your server. You have Gota here. It's a uh, green zone. No one uh, can do. The PVP here and maybe here is another PVE zone here is another green zone whatever you can set infinite or multiple uh, area for green zone uh, so we need name it so the first one we name it uh, PVE uh, or green green zone one so it's done and the second is you need set a coordinate to define where is the green zone. So you can use uh, you can use iSurvive or use uh, Daisy PC offline mode to define an area because in use iSurvive is not that you know persist you know it's not correct. The coordinate, but if you use the PC to set the coordinate, you can definitely set like this building in this area is green zone. You can do that by using PC, or you can get coordinate uh, from hitting each other and see the log in your server to set this area. So how it works? You need set uh, a point, some coordinate. Uh, more than three. That's mean you need set four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. But more than three, or just a four point, uh, five point, uh, six point to define your area. For example, here we set here one point, and whatever is uh, whatever you want here another, and here another, here another. We use this and here another, here another. So you need set all the point and insert all the coordinate here uh, in following order the, like a clock. You, you need set it, uh, insert it like one, two, three, four, five, six, like in this way. Or you need set in this way, in order. You can just set here. Here, here, here is not working like that. It, the, the bug will never know where you want, which zone you want. So if we see here, we start from here, you will see here is a area, just the area, whatever inside here is a green zone. So let's test it. We just need, uh, we just do it best. So we set here. Just one coordinate. Here, paste it. Remember, always remove the space. And the next one, here. And the next 
next one here. Next one, the last one, maybe here, wherever you want. And here, yeah. So you you, you can set more coordinate, uh, whatever you want, but uh, I just show you four coordinates. Remember, you need at least a four coordinates, not three. The, the, the triangle not working in this, in, in this, uh, function so you need just uh, a four coordinate and insert them in following order like a clock wise clock or, or like this this or like this like a clock you can't just diagonal diagonal like this is not working and, and then uh, jump back back to C the height height means uh, easy the the, 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 the the height the height the height so some some coordinate because th this is a 3d game so you so you have the height uh, setting so you can uh, for example in this area in this area we have several apartment building here you want on the top on top of this apartment is a green zone and under it or the rest not the green zone so we need to set set a height so for example, the height of this apartment or the height is uh, 100, is 100, so we just 100, that's mean uh, if the above 100 meters height, uh, this coordinate will function in this coordinate, only above 100, or you can set maybe uh, between 100 to 200 meters height, so only the killing event happen in this uh, height, between this height and in this coordinate, the green zone you have set, it will working, uh, it will work. And then maybe you have none, none means no height. That's mean from whatever height uh, they, they did the kill, they will get banned. Uh, that's mean that. And then the active, activate time, so that's mean what you want, when you want, when you want, like for example, in the back to the Goka, uh, here, not uh, every day or any time here is a uh, green zone. Maybe at the weekend here is not the green zone. So we can set the activity time of this green zone. So let's jump to how it working. So the first is minute. So I want from first minute to the 30 minute of each hour, this area while working. And then the, or you just set it uh, none. No, it's no minute setting. And hour, hour means maybe from night, some server has rules about uh, only at night you can kill players, uh, otherwise you can't like this. So you just need uh, set like this, the hour, maybe nine of, from nine o'clock to uh, 12 o'clock is means it working. So it's working time. If you don't want, uh, maybe you want from nine o'clock to 12 o'clock, it's working. But if you want only, maybe rest the time is 12 to, Eight means from twelve p.m. Uh, twelve a.m. to uh, eight a.m. Uh, is well it will work work but uh, from the seven uh, from the nine to twelve is not working so they can kill everybody inside and the day means the date date means every month maybe this month the first day of this month. The, 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 the second day of this math you want is work. So it's pr pretty weird. No server uh, working like this every month. And the first day of every month is killing time or something like that. And, and then we uh, get to the week. Week is from one to seven, uh, from Monday to Sunday. So it's 
like this. So you can set date and uh, a week together. So maybe today is Monday and it's, it's the second day of the month. So you just need to get rid of it. And so that's me every Monday, every Monday. And the math is another pretty weird set. Maybe it's from January to December. Uh, you can say maybe one year this month you can kill people and next month you can't kill people. So this is just the idea I just show you and then you start it, you will see the area in you know, the green zone is working now. So in this, in this uh, how it work like, uh, like one year every year or you just set it uh, like n and none. So in this time, and in this area, the the green zone is working. So if anyone in this time, Pacific time, they kill people in this area, they will get banned automatically. So I will show you some uh, of my server, uh, not this server, this server. Uh, let me see if there is any auto ban here. This is uh, uh, here. You see a ban. This is auto ban, but this function is the ban, not the PVE. I think I need go find a uh, a pretty pretty long time to to find the the ban, the ban, the PVE ban. They killed in green zone. Always this uh, whatever. So when the player got banned, you will receive the warning message in your control pad channel. So like, like the, this guy got banned automatically. But this function has some uh, issue about delay. Uh, delay time is from two minutes to seven minutes because the log file register uh, location or register everything and refresh every five minutes. And when you type someone to the, when you add someone to the ban list, you need wait another five minutes to let the server uh, uh, working. So it's always delay, but not delay half hour, it's maximum 10 minutes. Uh, so that's all. That's the green zone. Let me see. This is the green zone. Also, you can add, uh, maybe you are admin, you want to abuse your ability. So you can add your name into the Pacific uh, green zone, like uh, this one, green zone one. You add just your name. This is your name one. So has been seen the green zone owner, you are admin. Now you are allowing to kill anybody in green zone and no ban at all. And that's a most, uh, most powerful function here. And the next one is uh, remove the same. And uh, this one is wrong, it's the show. Show show means you can, you can see Z and show. And you can see all the green zone you have set. You see all the green zone you have set in your uh, server, you, you you can see I have set green zone, a lot of green zone, but no white list of it. You see PVE, no white list. So that's mean anybody kill anyone inside will get banned automatically. And then we go back to see the next part is Z band. Z band working just like the green zone. Z band means black zone, band zone ban area means if anyone gets into this area, they will get banned automatically by my bot. Uh, sometimes you don't, you are admin, you just don't want the player read your base or you have built a, a tweet post and have a storage there. There is a storage and you put all the loot inside and player come to buy it, you sell it. But sometimes toxic players, they just break your rules 
and get into your storage of your tweet post. So what do you do? You go download the log files and read it and read it, read it. Maybe it, it happened uh, three days ago, uh, three weeks ago. You haven't uh, online. You don't know. You forgot to download the log files. You don't know what he, you can do and you can't find him. So what he, he, you, you fucked up. And then this function will help you if anyone gets into your tweet post, they got banned. They will get banned. Not instantly, but they can't delay despawn everything. They have only 10 minutes maximum inside. If fast enough, two minutes they got banned. And you can use the Daisy PC offline mode to set maybe your storage or your base in this building. So you can get coordinate, not from Isovive, you get coordinate in game. So it's a real coordinate, it's really precise uh, coordinate. Per the position is really, is right, it's good. So like this, you can do this for a band. So let's me, uh, let me show you uh, some settings of mine of about the band area. Uh, let me just show. The same, just like the same command, uh, like the PVE one, the green zoom one. They are they are the same. You need set height, the coordinate, and the white list, or whatever. Uh, no, uh, do I click the, the Z button? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like like this. This is one of my server, and this server has rules. Is no base rating. So how to keep it? You need resist every player space you know, or clan base they have huge base and put them inside the white list so they can just stay in their base and they uh, play them inside if anyone get into their fence get into their base well god will get banned automatically it's really powerful so so you can also set the time maybe weekend reading time and uh, night reading time every evening they can read so you just need to register their base and give them a activity time that's all and and for the activity time we can do another thing like arena let me explain it arena like now I want Gokka uh, as an arena uh, it's a PvE a PvP area a deathmatch area I put a lot of loot inside this area so Sometimes uh, your server is not pop 24 hours. Sometimes at 3 a.m. everybody's sleeping. Always someone, you know, sneaky. They get into this area and grab free loot. So if you want to set here as a pop arena, you can give it a limited time. Like every night from 8 to 12 when the server is pop, you can get inside. Player can get inside and loot, and they fight here. They die here. When the server is not power, like after midnight, everybody goes sleep, and this area will be locked. And if anyone get inside, they get banned. So this is the most powerful you know, function of my bot. Uh, this function can help you uh, control the rules and can help you do something like just like PC mod to to make your server more fun so that's all